guys, the car scene here coming at you with another video. Just a minute ago we filmed this 2022 Nissan Pathfinder SV, but now we've got the big dog, the Platinum. This is the best trim, the top trim, gives you all the features, all the fixings. This is really the Colonel Sanders edition of cars right here. So today I'm going to give you a quick walk around of this all new, brand new, redesigned 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. I'm going to show you all of its features, everything that it's got going for it, and why you should buy it over the competition. Speaking of the competition, it's going to be the Ford Explorer, Toyota Highlander, and a few other vehicles that I'll mention in a minute. First, let's go over this sticker price. Looking at our mechanicals, same 3.5 liter V6 out of the old one, but the big addition here is gonna be the nine speed ZF transmission made right down the road. This one has a sticker price before features of $26,190. After features and a destination cost, you're at $49,265. 26 miles to the gallon highway, 21 city with the 23 combined. Like I said, this one's two-wheel drive instead of the all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive is pretty cool. No safety ratings yet. So this one being the Platinum gets the two-tone roof. Got black on the top, white on the bottom. These big 20-inch wheels. Nice Bridgestone tires. And this one's got plastic wheel wall liners instead of uh, the carpet that we see on the smaller Rogue. And that's true for the... Um, it's not true for the rear, actually. We've got uh, the carpeted wheel wells on this one as well. So as always, starting from back to front, we're gonna start at the back, which is where we've got our tow hitch. This one being front wheel drive is rated at 3,500 pounds. If you get all wheel drive, it bumps it up to 6,000. Big pathfinder along the back. Power lift gate, it's also kicked to open. You can see we've got our lock and power down. Looking at the floor, we got our nice big rubberized Nissan floor mat here. Underneath, we've got a nice deep storage well. This one's got dividers. Um, you can store a bunch of stuff in here. Your jack's actually on the back here, and your spare tire is underneath. Right there. Um, everything on the sides is carpeted, so you don't have to worry about scraping up the plastic. Got a 12 volt back here, two tie downs, rubberized mat on the back of the seats, that is an option. We're gonna flip up all these headrests because in a minute we're gonna climb into the third row. And these actually do recline. You can see that there. So that's what the space looks like when the seats are usable. Let's close this up. Let's climb into the second row of this 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. We do have capless fuel fill. And these three lines here, if you've been in a car in the last five years, you'll know passive entry is a thing. It's where the key realizes that you're close to the car and will just let you in. Um, they call that intelligent key, and Nissan's had it the longest time. Um, so they've really mastered the technology. This one does have the sunscreens in the rear, which is really nice. Looking at our door panel, you can see we've got brown leather on the top half. Soft uh, touch, kind of like urethane plastic right here at the elbow, which is going to be nice and durable, easy to clean. Plastic down below with two cup holders, two cup holders up top, so four cup holders per door. Looking at our seats, you can see this brown leather is looking awesome. And this one is the diamond stitch, or this one looks like chevron stitch seats, which is really awesome. And uh, here's the nice part about the Pathfinder. A couple other cars are getting this as well as the tip and slide seats. So we'll slide into the rear seats here. This is our third row. You can see it also still gets leather. So we've got speakers back here in the corner, two cup holders, and a USB on the passenger side. Same thing over on the driver's side. USB, two cup holders. There's actually a tie down for when this is folded down if you need to tie down a big load. And then we also have our vents for the third row on the driver and passenger side, along with that panoramic sunroof ahead of us. So seated with the second row all the way back. My knees are touching, but you know, I could definitely ride back here. We've got three seats, three seat belts all the way across, two in the middle, two up front, leading for a total of seven. We do have this little subtle console here, which is removable if you don't want it there, if it happens to be in the way from transit to the second and third row. Putting the seat back, we'll slide it back as well. Let's climb inside the second row. So sitting back here, we've got tri-zone climate. You can see we've got heated seats back here as well. You can adjust the fan, you can adjust the position of it. We've also got a house, house plug up back here, three prong, as well as two USBs, a USB-C and a USB 2.0. In the center console, two cup holders, storage nook in the back and two map pockets, one on the driver, one on the passenger seat, and air vents above, just like in the back with a little light next to them. I'll give you this shot of the front seats here and this front dash. Looks absolutely amazing in this car. Um, they really went all the way in when they were designing the interior of this, just like they did with the new Rogue for 2021. And it's the same design language. It looks really awesome, really amazing. Just a super great look. All right, heading up front. 
Looking at our driver door panel, soft touch leather on the top half, soft touch here at the elbow, little storage slash handle here, power windows, power mirrors, power locks, and storage area down below. And we've got this nice, looks like brushed metal material here at the top around the uh, air vent, as well as this leather trim here. Driver assistance uh, for the steering assist, power lift gate, intelligence. You can turn that all off or toggle it on or to a different setting. Uh, push to start, like I said, the Nissan Intelligent key is in this, of course. Wireless charger down below. Uh, electronic shifter for the bridge console so that you can store stuff underneath. Electronic parking brake, auto start, stop, on and off. Auto brake hold and driving modes. On the two wheel drive, you're going to have um, sport, eco, and normal. Looking in our center console, we've got a ton of storage in here. Goes pretty far back. And it's leather wrapped. Says Pathfinder. Looks really great. Looking at our center screen, this one gets the 9 inch. This one has the ProPilot Assist Plus NavLink, meaning it'll actually use the navigation system to help with your steering assists. So it'll slow down for a sharp curve or know when you need to change lanes or which lane you need to be in. It's really awesome. USB 2.0, USB C down there. Heated and cooled seats in this one. Once again, tri zone climate, so you can adjust driver, passenger, and the rear as long as a heated steering wheel in here. Um, looking over at our passenger side, we can see we've got a storage nook for a phone or whatever up here, wet wipes, whatever you need to put in there, and then a glove box down below. That door panel does have that um, awesome brushed metal look, as well as the rubberized center piece. Looking up top, we've got our sunglass holder, our controls for our sunroof, moonroof, and interior lighting, as well as our SOS in case there's an accident or just an emergency. We do have a light, it's up in the ceiling. And then looking at this, it goes out for good, really good coverage for these big windows. All right, this one does have the 9 speaker, or maybe it's a 12 speaker in this one, I don't remember. It's a Bose so sound system anyway, and it sounds really great. This one does have the power adjustable steering wheel, so you don't have to flip any knobs or anything. You just move that little knob, and it will uh, move the steering wheel up, down, in and out, however you want it. So looking at this front end, you can see these new headlights. These are all LEDs, same with the tail lights, just like on the uh, new Rogue. You can also see this new Nissan badge looks really great. Um, this is kind of what they're switching to across the board. So this is the same 3.5 liter V6. It's a VQ engine. Uh, great efficiency, great power, super reliable, easy to find parts on, and that nine speed ZF automatic transmission. Um, both of those are gonna be really reliable, really hold up to the test of time. And, uh, yeah. Once again, huge shout out to Crown Nissan here in Greenville, South Carolina for letting us film their new inventory. These trucks just came off the truck, and I know there's people wanting to look at them, people wanting to film them just like myself, people wanting to buy them, and they let us do it. So if you guys want to support the channel, come on down to Crown Nissan here in the upstate of South Carolina. Um, even if you don't want to buy a car, just let them know I sent you. Let them know that you love the videos. Let them know that we're helping out because it really builds that relationship with them. allows me to film more cars. If you guys also enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video to let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job, and comment down below on the cars you want to see in the future. I'm really trying to get all the new releases that are coming out because there's so many with 2022 uh, model year coming around the corner, and COVID really shut down car releases for about two and a half years, so I'm so happy that we're able to get out here, make some new car videos, get some new cars out to the public, and like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Support the channel, support your local dealerships, support the people that make your cars possible. Thanks guys. I'll just do a final walk around. Show you guys these tail lights because they look awesome. As you can see we do have an incandescent turn signal, incandescent reverse light, along with those LEDs with that big Pathfinder badge. Like I said, thanks for watching. Have a great day guys.